All right, welcome to the video. Today we're doing a seven mile base run. Now, if you're not sure what a base run is, it's basically just an easy run. It's not a recovery run. It's not a long run. It's not a workout. It's a base run. Base runs usually form the bulk of your training. Usually half your, your runs during the week are base runs. So I'm just gonna go around seven miles. I'm in a, a base phase of training myself, so I'm not worried too much about the workouts that I'm doing. I'm basically just trying to gradually increase my overall weekly running mileage and my long run. And also I'm trying to add in a bunch of cross training and strength training and strides so that I'm working on either end of the training spectrum. So let's get ready for this run. Okay, for this run, I'm gonna be wearing the Asics Kayanos. These are road shoes, but I'm gonna be spending most of my time off road today. Nothing too technical, so this is gonna work just fine. I'm also wearing my Koros Apex 2 Pro. This is a multi-sport watch, I really love it. It can track my bike rides, any hikes that I go on, any kind of run, trail run. I really love this watch. And of course, your trusty Koros armband heart rate monitor. Just want to make sure I don't spend too much time in zone three. You know, one of the things I try to do on every single distance run that I go on is just to make sure my first mile is my slowest mile. It's a fun way of just making sure that you're warming up for your run and it just makes the run feel better too. So if you're struggling with pacing, just go out really easy, make that first mile slower and most of the run will feel a lot better because of it. All right, mile one, 817, nice and easy. Hey there, guy. All right, we'll see you later. Okay, we've got mile two down in 754. This was maybe a little faster than I was hoping. I just feel really good right now, so I'm pushing just a, just a tiny bit. Mile three, 743. Still feeling really good. Just trying to get into a nice little rhythm. I found that my uh, my heart rate is a little high, but it is a little warm out and I've overdressed. I should have worn a long sleeve. So, hey, live and learn. I could not make these videos without your support. So first, let me say thank you. And this video is brought to you by our very own Performance Training Journal. I have always been in love with hard copy training journals for a few really good reasons. Number one, when I was a new runner and I started keeping an actual training journal like this, I learned so much more about the sport and myself just by that practice. It really forces you to reflect on your training, to think more deeply about what works for you, what doesn't work for you. And if you are constantly reflecting on your training, praising yourself for what's going right, planning for the future, and then looking back on what has previously worked for you, you are gonna really know yourself as a runner, and you're gonna start to make wiser decisions about your training. I also created this training journal because I want you to focus on the training metrics that actually matter. The training metrics that help you improve, get better, and progress with your running. We don't have to focus on everything. We just need to focus on what matters. I also took a lot of inspiration from professional runners that I've talked to on the Strength Running Podcast. They're adamant by completing a training journal and reflecting on what works for you and actually giving yourself some praise within your journal. You're essentially completing a gratitude journal. You are building up your confidence in your own abilities over time. And when you look back on that journal before a big goal race, you are gonna be reading in your own words why you're capable, why you can do this. And I can think of nothing more confidence building than an act like that. So I hope you check out the new performance training journal. It is now available on Amazon. It debuted as the number four new release in the running category, and I could not be more proud of it. So thank you again for subscribing to the Strength Running YouTube channel, and I hope you enjoy the performance training journal. All right, we got mile number four in 8.01. Still feeling good. 
still a little warm. Okay, mile five, 741. Still feeling really good. Okay, mile six was 736. Starting to feel a little fatigued, but otherwise just fine. Okay, run is finished. Seven miles in 55 minutes. My last mile was 744. Uh, overall, a really good run. Um, I think I made some miscalculations though. Number one, I started the run at about 9.30 in the morning, which on a day like today is probably too late. And uh, I overdressed. I'm, I'm wearing half tights and a long sleeve shirt. And I probably should have worn just shorts and a t-shirt because it's, it's getting quite warm out here. I think the temperature is actually pretty reasonable. The temperature is only, let's see, 64 degrees. That doesn't seem right. That's amazing to me. So it's 1050 in the morning right now, 64 degrees, but the sun is, is really strong already at, let's see, a UV index of six. That's the Denver, Colorado sun for you. And if I were to do this again, I would just start probably at 8 a.m. rather than 9.30 a.m. I just have a hard time getting myself ready in the morning. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a window into how I approach these kinds of base runs. Kept it mostly easy, even though my heart rate was higher than usual, probably because of the heat. But I was taking in some Element. I've got that in this bottle. And now that I'm done, I've got a shaker bottle full of Nurify, which is a meal replacement shake by my podcast sponsor, Prevenex, which I love. It's just a really simple, easy way to get in some great nutrition right after a run. There's a good source of protein. There's lots of vitamins and probiotics in there, as well as carbohydrate. I do like to mix it with soy milk because that just gives me a little bit more substance, more protein, uh, some more calories as well, rather than water, milk, can get a little disgusting in my opinion. So I, I like to use a, a, a plant-based milk. So I would love to hear from you how you like to approach your base runs. I love to get out and run on the trails like I did today. Uh, I love to keep it mostly easy. And I'm a big fan of going somewhere where you're a little bit inspired, where you're a little bit, you're enjoying yourself out there on the trails. So let me know how you like to do your base runs because what I did today should be the bulk of your training. This is most of a runner's training, a high volume of easy running.